an explosion in Ice Age art around 30,000 years ago, was driven by autism, a new paper has claimed. Researchers say the ability to focus on detail, a common trait among people with autism, allowed realism to flourish. They say, it drove the extremely accurate depictions of bears, bison, horses and lions decorate the walls of Ice Age archaeological sites such as Chaudet Pontar Cave in southern France. Detail focus is what determines whether you can draw realistically. You need it in order to be a talented realistic artist, said lead author of the paper, Dr. Penny Spickens from the Department of Archaeology at the University of York. This trait is found very commonly in people with autism and rarely occurs in people without it. We looked at the evidence from studies attempting to identify a link between artistic talent and drug use and found that drugs can only serve to disinhibit individuals with a pre-existing ability. The idea that people with a high degree of detail focus, many of which may have had autism, set a trend for extreme realism in Ice Age art is a more convincing explanation. Archaeologists have been unsure why outer Ice Age ancestors suddenly began creating realistic art comparable to the simplistic drawings seen before. Some even argue that psychotropic drugs were behind the detailed illustrations. The popular idea that drugs might make people better at art, led to a number of ethically dubious studies in the 60s, where participants were given art materials and LSD. The authors of the new study discount that theory, arguing instead that individuals with detail focus, a trait linked to autism, kicked off an artistic movement that led to the proliferation of realistic cave drawings across Europe. The researchers say, their study adds to a growing body of evidence that people with autistic traits, played an important role in human evolution. Individuals with this trait, both those who would be diagnosed with autism in the modern day and those that wouldn't, likely played an important part in human evolution and survival as we colonized Europe, Dr. Spickens added. As well as contributing to early culture, people with the attention to detail needed to paint realistic art would also have had the focus to create complex tools from materials such as bone, rock and wood. These skills became increasingly important, in enabling us to adapt to the harsh environments we encountered in Europe. 